We've loaded up the 63 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, a road hog, a land yacht with tail fins. The car may look slightly out of step with the times, but it's perfect when you're cruising in search of people and places who are also stepping to the beat of a different drummer. People who've flown the coop when asked to conform. Find the coop to find answers for a troubled time. The dollar's down, nuclear weapons are up, our flanks are exposed in the Middle East. These matters are obviously too important to be left in the hands of amateurs. Let's go right to the experts, the people with the wisdom to put these possibly cataclysmic events in perspective. The planets are jittery now. They're undecided. There's a rumor at the White House, we don't know if it's true. Does Nancy read Ron's horoscope and tell him what to do? Earth is under a very strong influence of tension and stress. People are under pressure like they haven't been for years. This is because of something going on in the sky. Is it 7 come 11? Is it E Ching for us all? What's the fortune of our country? Let's rub a crystal ball. A government that paid $10,000 for a toilet seat obviously can't be trusted to get the lowest rates on high-level political consultants. Forget that San Francisco socialite. Her overhead's obviously too high. These streets are lined with good advice at a good price. Is this a time to put faith in close friends? I don't feel it's too safe. You know, whatever you tell somebody. They can turn around and that'd be behind your back. Like put it in a book. Yes. When Pluto's in ascension, send missiles to Iran. With Venus in the second house, you pay the contra man. When you look into the crystal ball, does it give you an idea of whether or not this meeting in May between Reagan and Gorbachev will be a good time to reduce nuclear missiles? I really don't pick up right now. It's not a very good time for them. You take your foreign policy, line it up with Mars, and if it fails, you gotta know it wasn't in the stars. I don't guide my life by it, but I won't answer the question the other way because I don't know enough about it to say, uh, is there something to it or not? Uh, this was all, once again, smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Reagan may have been an astrologer in a former lifetime. As far as the numbers are running with him, he is one of the most powerful individuals that I have ever seen. He has a sensitivity, unique, bordering on clairvoyance. Is it Nancy, George, and Ollie reading tarot cards and hearts? Is the trouble with our country that someone lost the charts? Not everyone needs charts, but to demonstrate her psychic powers on camera, Sister Anne Marie needed $200, plus another 50 when I showed up late. She should have known. Is it a good time to invest? Should you save more? Should you spend? What, what should, should we do? Good time to invest. But you have to find the right investments. Insightful. I now know where not to invest $250. As I pulled away, Sister Anne Marie urged me to come back for a personal reading. I assumed I had paid for it. No, she answered another 30. I replied, I'd tell the next president to drop by, whomever it may be. Who will it be? I decided to ask Sister Rosa. I have a feeling about one in particular. One person in particular. Only I forgot his name. What's the fortune of our country? What's the future gonna be? If our moon's in Nicaragua, is that where we should be? Should we align with Moscow? Is the market gonna fall? What's the fortune of our country? Let's rub the crystal ball. What's the fortune of our country? Let's rub the crystal ball. For today, Boyd Matson, NBC News, flying the coop across the astral plane.